Pets Race is here to help kids and families show their minds some love. It's time to take a breather. What do you miss most and why? I miss my granny because I miss sleeping over at her house and staying up late. So yeah, I miss her a lot. When I think of the people I miss most, I feel... I feel sad and mad. I felt sad. I didn't get to see my friends and family. When I think of people that I miss the most, I think I feel sad and kind of mad because I don't get to see them. Does that sound like you? That feeling of missing can make you really sad, frustrated, or even angry. We've all had a tough time not being able to see the people we care about every day. And whatever you're feeling during this time is okay. Here are some tools to help you when you're missing people that you care about. First, practice self-kindness and loving-kindness. Self-kindness is helpful when you recognize that you're having difficult feelings like anger, sadness, or worry. Instead of trying to get rid of the feelings right away, it's helpful to meet your difficult feelings with kindness and care. You can try saying gentle words to your feelings like, this is hard, and I'm not alone. There are many people who care about me and who can help me. And so many people are missing people they love right now, so I'm really not alone. Give it a try, experts. This is really hard. This is really hard. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I am not alone. I am not alone. So many people are missing people that they love right now. So many people are missing people they love right now. So many people are missing the people that they love right now. A lot of people. Send friendly wishes. When you're missing someone or wishing you could see your friends and family, you can send friendly wishes to yourself and the person that you miss. You can close your eyes or keep them open and imagine the person you miss feeling happy, healthy, and peaceful. And imagine what they may be doing that makes them feel that way. Then you can send them your wishes by saying silently or out loud, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be peaceful. Emotion experts, can you show us how it's done? I'm going to send friendly wishes to my mom. I miss my cousin Poppy and my cousin Jemima. They live in Bristol. And I wish to send friendly wishes to them. <laughs> One of my cousins, his name is Berkeley. Berkeley may feel happy, healthy, and peaceful. Sending friendly wishes to all of my friends from my class last year at school. So I said, Granny and Nana, may you feel happy, healthy, and peaceful. Exactly, you got it. Practice gratitude. Start a gratitude practice to focus on the things that you're grateful for right now. Sometimes our brain likes to focus on what's going wrong or what we don't have that we want. Practicing thankfulness or gratitude helps our brain to remember all of the wonderful things in our lives. We may remember how much we love pancakes or how cozy it feels to get cuddles before bed. This helps us feel happier and to keep a lookout for all the things we really like. Give it a try, experts. I, I get new masks that I can wear to school and that I get to see my friends and family in school now. Can you tell some of the things in your life that you are happy about and grateful for right now? That we can still hang out with people who we love. That I have a home, food, and that my parents allowed me to have my own business. Um, my family and friends, and the food I eat. <laughs> How do you feel now? A little better, I hope. When I think of the people I miss most, I feel happy that I'm thinking of them and I know they're there and they're probably, they're going through the same thing that we're, we're all going through. But I feel sad because I don't get to see them and that's just, 
the sad truth of it, but like overall, it's sort of a mixed feeling, it's a mixed feeling sort of thing. I felt more happy and more calm after doing the exercise. I also felt calm, I've got to say that. You done? All right, thank you, Simone. I hope this makes everyone feel a little closer to their emotions and closer to each other. For more mindfulness from Headspace, subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on the Headspace app.